Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial, I want to kind of pick up from where I left off in my previous um, tutorial about uh, integrating the WP or WordPress pop-up login or plugin rather to uh, MailChimp. So today we'll sh actually show you how in this tutorial to uh, hopefully drive more traffic um, and business hopefully by automating um, your your uh, published content so when you publish content we will take that content and use MailChimp's RSS driven campaign to send emails to your subscriber list so let us get started here um, I'm going to be using my WordPress website ccbtutorials.com as well as my um, CCB tutorials WordPress I mean uh, MailChimp um, account so be sure that you have both of those uh, ready before you start this tutorial so let's jump into MailChimp we will log in here right and so one of the first things that you will want to do is go to campaigns and in campaigns what you want to do is click create campaign and go to RSS driven campaign select it and then you will be asked to enter in uh, the RSS feed URL uh, you can use some of the links here the RSS to email guide or just guide for bloggers. I'm going to go to uh, My website here CCB tutorials And this is it and so I use uh, my home page to show all my blog posts uh, for tips and tricks about how to use um, a church management software called Church Community Builder. Um, so that being said, what, what we really are after is trying to find the RSS feed. So what you can do in WordPress is type forward slash RSS, click enter, and it'll redirect you to the XML feed that MailChimp is in search of. We'll copy and paste go back paste it in and then the next thing that we need to specify is when we should send so you can send every day um, every week on a certain day or every month on a certain day for this we'll just send every day we'll say Mondays and Thursdays for now and we'll send at 9 a.m. And you notice that this is set to central time, that this is set to central time. Now, the key thing that you'll want to remember is that you will want to make sure that your MailChimp account and your WordPress account are the same. So if we go to WordPress, I'm just going to go log in just to be sure that my account is set to central uh, time zone. And the reason being is, if your WordPress and your um, MailChimp account are not set to, to the same um, time zone, then this RSS driven feed will not send um, and you will not be hopefully driving more traffic or making more money because like I said, the time zone won't be the same. So I am in the, the time zone here, same time zone Chicago, which is in the central time zone. It'll also show you what the local time is there. Um, but essentially set this, go back, and then in your uh, MailChimp account, if you go over to account account settings, um, you can set the the uh, the time zone there. So both of them are set to the same. Um, you have some frequently asked questions here that you can review. We click next. And then because I only have one list and you'll need to be sure that you have a list created before doing this but because I already have the ccbtutorials.com newsletter um, list that's the only one that's showing up if I had more then it would allow me to select which list and then whether or not I want to send it to 
the entire list, a segment of the list, send to a new segment, or you know, paste emails in. For this, we'll just send to the entire list. Click next. And go to setup, and then you can name this your campaign. We'll just name this CCB number three. You can change the email subject line as well as use what's called merge tags. And these are personalized fields that you can use. So um, as it states here, to Bob Smith, you know, instead of to Bob's email. Uh, so use those, um, you know, as you see fit, but don't be sure not to, you know, go beyond the allowed character limit there. Same thing from name, from email address, and then it gives you tracking options. So if you use any of these services, then you are able to click. You also notice that some of them have paid account only. So to use this service, you have to upgrade your account to a MailChimp paid account. For this, I'll just call it CCB RSS driven for now. And then you can attach your Twitter or Facebook accounts, which we're not gonna do for this tutorial. We'll click next then we are shown a multitude of options I'll just basically go look for what's called the basic RSS template you also have a right sidebar RSS template for this one we'll use the basic it'll bring you to an editor which will allow you to design um, use this editor which is drag and drop simple editor and what you do is hover over that section click uh, edit for this then you just edit here this is a simple email tutorial once you get done you can save uh, save and close also you can you know this is uh, no different than your actual WordPress or any other uh, type of editor that allows you to change certain attributes and formats um, about the text or you know what have you there so we'll save and close for this you can add a picture if you want to feel free to do so and then you see all this gibberish here of all these merge tags well to see what it would look like all you have to do is go to the preview and test send a test email I'll send it to my kickstart commerce email I'll send test we'll wait Okay, it's been sent and then we'll need to give it just a little time to uh, reach our inbox so I'll go and take a look inbox here and it hasn't arrived yet there it is it's arrived and you can see that it that it was from post from CCB tutorials and then for the date just as we had it and then this is what it looks like. So it takes your blog um, title as well as a subtitle. And then it just shows you in the test what it would look like. So it takes my latest post, which is how to insert online gifts, puts a link there, and then gives kind of a, a quick snippet that uh, then the user can now, um, or the reader can now uh, click the link to go over to the actual uh, blog and finish reading the rest. In addition, you can tweet, you can like, and then it includes a list of five of your most recent articles. Uh, you can, like I said, go back into the editor and brand this to the look and feel of your very own website. Like I said, for this, we're just going to uh, simply use as is for this example, just to show you. So we'll bounce back over. Since we're ready to go here, we'll go to next. We're already set to send. We have nothing but green check boxes. We're ready to start this puppy and you'll need to confirm it just to make sure that it's the right feed. It'll tell you the number of subscribers that you're sending to and it'll tell you the list. And you're ready to start your campaign. Click campaigns. Now you can see that there's our CCB number three that we created. And then here's an active one that I have already going. And so you can tell that this campaign has not been sent yet. This campaign has because you can tell 
here where it says last sent on and then whatever the date and time is. So that's how you can tell whether or not it's been sent. If you want to check the reports for your campaign, you can. So for that CCBT uh, resources, um, RSS driven, you can see here that the campaign has one subscriber. There's the open percentage as well as the click percentage. And you can go view more uh, intimate details about that report. So uh, that is it, you know, in a nutshell. So as you uh, produce content um, on your blog or whether it be a post or a page, you can now send that automatically to your readers and actually have them engage and drive more traffic as well as uh, hopefully get more signups. If you haven't had a chance to review the WP uh, or WordPress pop-up plugin tutorial, I'll include a link in the description below this video so that you can uh, go take a look at it. Together, both of these are great tutorials that I think small business owners should um, you know, implement and execute immediately, you know, to take advantage of capturing uh, more customers and making more money for your small business. Uh, like I said, I know small business owners tend to uh, be strapped for resources. So this is a way to harness technology to create a uh, simple um, but very and highly effective uh, marketing automation tool to, uh, you know, get the spread the word about your new content, your new articles, and whatnot. So I'll be using it for this tutorial. So most of my readers will get this uh, tutorial via email using uh, the MailChimp RSS uh, campaign uh, service. So good luck with that. Do let me know if you have questions or comments. Again, visit us at kickstartcommerce.com and stay tuned until the next tutorial. Thanks.